Hello everyone, this is Dr. Carolyn Maria, working as an assistant professor in Loyola College of Education, Chennai. The title of the course is Educational Psychology. This video lecture is about Unit 4, Intelligence and Creativity, in which we are going to focus on the meaning, definition of intelligence, theories of intelligence, two-factor theory, Thurston's group factor theory, Thorndike's multi-factor theory, Guilford's structure of intellect and Gardner's multiple intelligence theory. Let's see first what is intelligence. The capacity of an individual to understand and act effectively in a given situation is called intelligence. It is your presence of mind, how well you apply in a situation and deal the situation. The ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills. The ability for adjustment or adaptation to new problems. Ability to learn quickly. Ability to carry on the abstract thinking is called as intelligence. Few people have given the definition of intelligence. Stoddard said, ability to start and sustain activities that are difficult, novel and useful. Wessler said, the global capacity to act purposefully, think rationally and deal effectively with the environment. Alfred Beeney said, intelligence has the capacity to think well, judge well and to be self-critical. What are the characteristics of intelligent persons? Intelligent persons will learn fast, display good adjustment, capacity to analyze and solve problems, they are capable of successfully completing the difficult task. They have a very good adjustment behavior according to the goal. And they are not easily carried away by emotions because they may have good sort of emotional balance. There is a distinguish between right and wrong. This intelligent people will be able to quickly find out what is correct and what is wrong. And they act in pursuit of the welfare of the society. What are the theories of intelligence? Unitary theory, Spearman's two-factor theory, Thorndike's multi-factor theory, Thurston's group factor theory, Guilford's structure of intellect, intellect and theory of multiple intelligence. Let's see one after the other. Unitary theory or monarchic theory which was proposed by Dr. Johnson who was a person he said that a person who can perform one intellectual task very well can also perform another task equally well. He also said Newton could have tuned his mind to poetry and he would have been a great poet as well as he would have been a great mathematician. Intelligence influences all activities of an individual. Intelligence gets stamped in all thoughts and actions and it, it determines the general ability. Then another person came, Spearman. He said that intelligence doesn't depend on one factor alone, it depends upon two factors. That is, the first factor is a general factor and the second factor is a specific factor. The general factor includes the general intelligence and problem solving capacity and the specific factor includes the specific mental abilities, both verbal and mathematical skill. So Spearman said that intelligence is equivalent to general factor and specific factor. This general factor is innate which is inherited from our parent through heredity and it accounts for success whereas the specific factor whatever we acquire during our lifetime as an experience. Thorndike came forward and he said that no one factor or two factors are responsible for a person's intelligence, but intelligence depends upon multi factors. He thought it said that he was being an associationist. He opposed the unifactor theory and the two factor theory, and he believed that there was nothing like called as general ability. Each mental activity requires aggregate of different set of abilities proposed for specific stimuli and specific response. And intelligence constitutes separate factors and the theory of intelligence, he believed that intelligence was like a series of skills and talents. It does not depend on only one factor or two factors, but so many factors are together responsible for a person's intelligence.
and he said that each mental activity requires an aggregate of different set of ability with regard to the level each one's level of intelligence is different and range is different and area of intelligence is different and each one's learning speed is also different so the level of intelligence according to him he said that in the individual has measured by difficulty of task one can perform and the range of task one can perform and speed and Stan, uh, Stanford said that the harder the task and the greater the intelligence more of task and more of intelligence and the quicker the response greater the intelligence then Thurston came forward and he said that there is a group of factors which are involved for a person's intelligence and Thurston's theory explains that people possesses different types of mental abilities and this helps the teachers to understand the intelligence level of students by analyzing their different primary mental abilities through various mental ability tests and intelligence is a cluster of abilities similar abilities they all join together as a group and it will constitute a person's intelligence this is a claim of Thurston and he said that seven primary mental abilities are there for each, each and every person's intelligence. Like space, visualization, perceptual speed, numerical ability, verbal comprehension, word fluency, rote memory and reasoning. Then the next person came forward, Guilford, and he created a model, three-dimensional model, and he said that intelligence is a three-dimensional process. And he was an American psychologist, best remembered for his psychometric study of human intelligence, including the distinction between convergent and divergent production. And like according to this Guilford, he rejected Charles Spearman's uh, two-factor intelligence theory as well as Thurston's theory and he came forward and proposed that three dimensions were necessary for accurate description and he has said that there are six operations on five content and they produce six products in a three-dimension format. And he said that 180 factors are responsible for each and every person's intelligence. The six operations are, are cognition, memory recording, memory retention, divergent thinking, convergent thinking and evaluation. All these six activities, they focus on either visual content or auditory content or symbolic, semantic, behavioral content and they produce unit, classes, relations, systems, transformation and implication. Let's see one after the other. Cognition is the ability to understand, comprehend, discover and become aware of the information. Memory recording is the ability to encode the information with proper label. Memory retention is ability to recall the information. Divergent production is ability to generate multiple solutions for a single problem which is otherwise called as creativity. Convergent production is ability to deduce a single solution to a problem then uh, in order to find the solution then evaluation is the ability to judge whether or not information is accurate or consistent or valid these six operations will focus on the five content figural content that is concrete the real life real world information tangible objects things in the environment it includes the visual auditory and kinesthetic Visual information perceived through sight, auditory information perceived through hearing and kinesthetic information perceived through one's own physical actions. And symbolic information perceived as the symbols or signs that stand for something else. Example, the numericals, the alphabets and the music and the scientific notations. Semantic is concerned with the verbal, verbal meaning and ideas generally considered to be abstract in nature. Behavioral information perceived as the act of the people. This dimension was not fully researched by Guilford and it remains theoretical and is generally not included in the model proposed for describing the human intelligence. And the six products are units, single items of knowledge, classes, set of units sharing the common attributes, 
relations, units, linked as opposites, associations, sequences and analogies. Systems as multiple relations interrelated to compromise the structures or network. Transformations as changes, perspectives, conversations, mutations to knowledge. Implications as predictions, inferences, consequences, anticipation of knowledge. So all the six operations work on this five content and they produce all these uh, six kind of products. Then another person called Howard Gardner, he came up with the theory of multiple intelligence, which has become a very famous theory and accepted by many people. According to Professor Howard Gardner, there are eight ways or eightfold in which the human beings perceive and understand the world. He has written a book called Frames of Mind in which he has written about the theories of multiple intelligence. He said that attempting to assess the mental abilities by using a single measure called IQ. And these are the eight kinds of or eight types of theories intelligence he has proposed. Naturalistic intelligence, the people, those who are smart in nature, nature related activities. Musical intelligence, those who are good at music. Logical, mathematical, those who are good at number and reasoning. Existential intelligence, he has recently introduced the people, those who are life smart. Then interpersonal intelligence, who are people smart. Bodily kinesthetic, body smart. Linguistic, word smart. And intrapersonal, self smart people. Let's see one after the other. The linguistic intelligence people are the people who learn best through the language, including speaking, writing, reading, listening. They are able to verbally or in, and in writing, explain, convince and express themselves. For an example, these people will hold the position of a lawyer, teacher, writers. Then the logical mathematical intelligent people who are learn best through the numbers, reasoning and problem solving. They are able to create and manipulate visuals and create mental pictures from many perspectives. They likely to weigh, measure, calculate and organize data. Example, you could see the people Ramanujam and Einstein. And visual spatial intelligence, these people who learn best visually and tend to organize their thinking spatially. They like to think and create pictures. They are also drawn to information that are presented in visual form. Example people are the architects, mechanics, sculptor, sailor, engineer, painter, carpenter, goldsmith. Bodily kinesthetic intelligent people who are best known for their physical activity. They are able to manipulate and control objects as well as express their ideas through movements. For an example, the surgeon, dancer, sportsman, therapist, actor, gardener, magician, builder, hairdresser, stunt person, all these people are bodily kinesthetic intelligent people. Musical intelligent people who learn best through sounds. They are able to use inductive and deductive reasoning and identify the relationship in data. Musician, singer, songwriter, music teacher, instrument maker, composer, DJ, voice coach, music producer, music editor, violinist, guitarist and all the other people are called like that. Interpersonal intelligent people who are learn to best through the interaction with other people. They are able to create synergy in the room by being aware of the feeling and motive of others. For an example, the politicians, salesmen, PAO, receptionists, teacher, actor, team leader, HR people, business executive and coach, all these people will go for a lot of negotiation. Intrapersonal people are the ones who are best through the metacognitive practices such as getting in touch with their feeling and their self-motivation and they are able to concentrate and be mindful in whatever they do. They work well with their personal deadline as well as goals. For an example, theorists, biographers, philosophers, researchers, best planners and strategy people. 
Naturalistic intelligent people are the ones who learn best through the interactions with the environment. They see the subtle meaning and the patterns in nature and the world around them. The poets, horticulturalists, environmentalists, ecologists, all these people, they touch, feel and they have practical experiences. Key takeaway messages are Capacity of an individual to understand and act effectively in the given situation is called intelligence. Intelligence is a cluster of abilities. These mental operations then constitute a group called group according to Thurston. According to Harvard Gardner, there are eight ways or eight fold of intelligence humans perceive and understand the world. Just reflect on as a teacher, how will you help your students to identify their majority type of intelligence and foster it? Plan your strategies to improve the specific intelligence of your students. For further learning, kindly use these links as well as the books. Thank you for listening. Wish you all good luck.